Hello good day viewers, still on quadratic inequalities. Remember yesterday we solved a similar problem to this one. The only difference is that we use greater or equal to yesterday. So today we are going to apply less than or equal to just to compare the result. Alright, let's get started. This is what we have, uh, irrational quadratic expressions. I have already factorized them to the other side x squared minus x minus 6 is the same thing as x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 2 because once you multiply negative 3 by positive 2 you are going to get negative 6 and once you add negative 3 and positive 2 you are going to get the coefficient of x which is negative 1 the same thing to this one all right what you should consider here is we have less than 0 which implies the left hand side if simplified it will be what negative because anything less than 0 or equal to 0, it could be either 0 or less than 0 or negative value, right? So on what condition? It is either if the top is positive and the bottom is negative. Because positive divided by the negative will give us negative, right? That's one condition. And if the top is negative and the bottom is positive, these are the two conditions we are going to apply. So the first condition is when the top is positive, but I'm going to use the factorized version. Um, we have x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 2. Once this is positive, that is greater or equal to 0. Let us solve it first before we take this one to be less than 0. Um, you know, it is going to be an open up parabola. And anything greater will be on this legs, right? Remember, uh, let's assume... It crosses at what? Negative 2 because these are the roots and positive 3, right? Positive 3. Uh, let's assume we have something like this. So talking about greater than, these are what? Where y is positive because if anything to the bottom that is below the x-axis will be negative, right? So the solution will be from negative infinity way down to negative 2 and from 3 way down to uh, positive infinity. We should know that negative 2 and positive 3 will be included because O equal to. So we have the solution here. X belongs to the set of values from negative infinity way down to negative 2. Negative 2 is part of the solution. So we use square bracket union from 3 way down to positive infinity. So this is the solution to this one. When this when this is positive, this must be negative. So we take that one again. That is x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 5. This must be negative. But do not use O equal to because the bottom can never be equal to 0, right? And you know that um, x cannot be positive 1. Likewise, it cannot be negative 5. Let me even include that somewhere here. Let me see x cannot be positive 1 and x cannot be negative 5. So if it is just less than, you should know that we are going to get a solution between negative 5 down to 1 because these are our roots. So x belongs to the set of values from negative 5 way down to positive 1. You should always consider the roots. By setting this to be equal to 0, x can either be negative 5 or positive 1. And these are the roots. So because it is less than, we have solution in between negative 5 to, down to 1. Suppose it is greater than, we're going to get a solution from negative infinity down to negative 5 and from 1 down to positive infinity. So we are done with this condition. Then second condition, we are going to consider this to be negative while this will be positive. So we take x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 2. This time around, we are going to set it to be negative, less than or equal to 0. So what will be the solution? If it is less than, it will just be within the roots. And the roots will be negative 2 and positive 3. Negative 2, positive 3. They are all going to be included because of or equal to. Then we take this and set it to be positive. That is x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 5. 
greater than zero it cannot be o equal to zero remember because the bottom cannot be equal to zero what will be the solution the solution will be from negative infinity down to negative five so from negative infinity down to negative five union from positive one down to positive infinity all right we are not done yet we need to take the intersection between these two solutions take the intersection between these two solutions then we combine the two solutions um how can we take intersection let me show you how to do that suppose we have a number line here let me start with this one the first solution is for negative two or let me start with this one where we have from negative five down to positive one suppose we have negative five here we have positive one here this solution means what from here down here right what about this one from negative two down to negative infinity you know negative two will be here negative 2 because it is greater than negative 5 so we have a solution a closed cycle because of this 2 is included way down to negative infinity then we have from 3 way down to positive infinity so 3 is ahead of 1 greater than 1 so we have this so where do we have intersection we have intersection from this point that is from negative 5 down to negative 2 so in general here we have a solution from from negative 5 remember negative 5 is not a solution we down to negative 2 but negative 2 is part of the solution you can even see it here because of this square bracket so we have something like this let's do the same thing here Let me start with this one. We have negative 2 down to 3. Negative 2 down to 3. We have a solution here. Right? Then this one from negative 5 way down to negative infinity. Negative 5 open cycle because it is not a solution. Way down to negative infinity. Then the other one from 1. 1 is somewhere here way down to um, positive infinity something like this where is the intersection the intersection is from one down to three but you should know that three is a solution it's part of the solution so x here belongs to the set of values from one one is not included down to three but three is included so now the general solution will be the union between these and that so the solution to this problem is x belongs to the set of values from negative 5 way down to negative 2 including negative 2 union from 1 way down to 3 including 3 so this is the general solution to this particular problem Thank you for watching. Do share to your line and colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.